Brit mums. Would it be wrong of me to say, I can't wait for the girls to start preschool? Because to be honest with you, that is the truth. The thought of having that time to myself is just like, the biggest present ever. Yesterday I said to my friend, oh, I'm going to be doing a video blog about mummy me time. And she goes to me, mummy me time, what is that? I've never heard of it. <laughs> and which just goes to show that, yeah, mums, we need to get ourselves back. You know, we always say we want our husbands, we always want our partners to be at home and to help out. But it has been four weeks where it's me, Brian, my husband, and little M, at home, every day, all day. Oh. Believe it or not, it's, uh, it's a cabin fever. I'm actually wondering what exactly mummy me time is. So for my me time, after she was sleeping, I had a bath, got dressed, put some makeup on, and came down here to do this. I don't actually have any. I've got two girls, they're three and one, and I work from home and I look after them full time. So, me time is something that I have not had an art job or any of in a long time. Define what me time actually means to you. It should be something some, somewhat indulgent as opposed to tedious or work related. I have a slight problem with the whole mummy element of it. Let's focus on yourself and not just the fact that you're a mum. You know, there's a whole thing when you become a mum that that's all anybody sees you as. I have a hard time separating the work side of me and the indulgent side of me. What am I going to do with that time? You know, people say to me, oh, you won't know what to do with yourself. I will. It's a pile of about 10 books because every time I see a book I want to read, I buy it. Even though I haven't read the nine others in the pile, but I just can't help myself. I just keep deluding myself that I will actually find the time to read it and of course it never comes. Just to go to a movie again and just watch um, just watch something in peace. To be able to go to a movie now is just like a military operation. When my youngest was one, I started hula hooping. And you know, one thing I love about hula hooping is that when you tell people that you're a hooper, it usually makes them smile. You know, usually in that kind of like, ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> Right. Um, wait, but actually it's just one of the most fun things, uh, fun ways to sort of express yourself, be playful, try and get your waistline back if you stick at it. I think when I was a working parent, I actually had time to myself. You know, I had my set times where, you know, commuting, believe it or not, I loved it. It was just time for myself. Put on my iPod, have my coffee in the morning, you know, West London to Central London. No one bothered me. I wasn't a mom. It was just myself. And then, you know, I worked in Soho during lunchtime. I could go out with my friends. Sometimes after work, I'd go for drinks. You know, I had the time for myself. And now, actually, now that I'm a stay-at-home, I'm, you know, it's a different time. To lose my me time, to, to have the kids and the family, it's a sacrifice worth making. And with that, I'm off. Frit mums.